handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It's the 1st of March, 2024. I'm going to look at the 6th race from the Big A, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and join me tomorrow for my Gotham preview here from Aqueduct and also for my Fountain of Youth preview. It's one of my favorite race weekends of the year, so I um, hope you join me for those previews. Too bad that I have the flu right now. I feel a lot better than I did, um, you know, the last night, but uh, still feeling crappy. I don't think I'll be making it to Aqueduct on uh, Saturday for the Gotham, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Highly doubt it, though. But let's look at the sixth race from Aqueduct, which is a good one. It's a lounge option. claim claimer per se, $2,000. Race four years and upwards, number one, 18,000th of the main claim starter safer lounge race, which is number one, two race here. Optional claim price, 45000 Seven horses, including a part of an entry going the extended trip of ground of 1,900 meters or mile 316th on the Aqueduct main track. My top selection here, I'm going to go with the number one A beyond best. I'm going to go 1A352 in the Superfecta. 1A352 Super. Top selection 1A. The um, Beyond Best. This five row game by Curlin here. Um, Ernesto Padilla trains. Uh, Abner Adoro gets the mount coming in from Philadelphia. The horse's most recent out game, 9th of January at Philadelphia. Uh, our parks on the sloppy going. A mile 16th in the Star Lounge race, 25,000. And the horse finished third by one half lengths that day. He had a very wide trip. He sat back early. He moved a little bit late. You know, I, I thought he showed potential. Refreshing to hear, not the world's toughest race going a little bit longer. I think he could get the uh, the trip to win. He looks like the kind of horse that wants to stay a little bit of ground with the curl and AP Indy on the dam side. Two back on the 26th of December, Parks, mile 70, a star on lounge race, finished second by two lengths that day, and again, he sat back early. It was a little bit wide, but he was really closing up well late. You know, I, I don't think the uh, wide paths at Aqueduct recently haven't been half bad, so if he has a wide trip, it's, it's going to be good for him, especially down the lane. Uh, and then on the... Um, 21st of November at, uh, at, at Parks and Wetfest, but still going mile 70 and starting allowance race. Finished fourth by nine and a half lengths that day. There, he just wasn't getting the trip. You know, his most recent victories weren't bad at all. He actually won two in a row in, in October. Talking about the 24th, most recent victory over the mile 70 and option 25. Winning by nine and a quarter. He sat back early, slowly moved his way to the front end, and then took off like an express train. That was a very good run. And then prior to that, in option 16 at Parks on the slot going mile. Winning by two and a quarter that day. Again, from a tracking trip a little bit wide, but he really came home flying. Coming here to New York, I'll give him a shot here in the ticket. I think the three horse here, McCallan, uh, from Manny Franco and Tom Fletcher, could get a trip to win. Hasn't won since the main victory in December, uh, February 2022 at Tampa, going mile 40, where he won by three and three quarter lengths, taking off clear. Since then, he's just been running, you know, good races, but he's just not winning. Came back to run a, 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 okay, fourth at Keelan in the spring of 2022, and then came back to run a very disappointing at Churchill in 2022. Then they see this horse for a year. Came back last winter at Aqueduct, going a mile, where he had a decent third, but he finished closing up for nowhere. And then in the fall at Aqueduct, he had a decent fourth, and came back to run a decent third a few weeks ago. I think he's another horse. He wants to go a longer trip. He's going to get it today. Two to one, it wouldn't surprise me. And a horse that's proven he could win over this trip on here at Aqueduct. The five horse, uh, 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 Matic change, excuse me, I can't speak, for Dylan Davis and Chad Brown, uh, and for the claiming 45 today. I have a feeling he'll probably get claimed out of this one. Um, I can't remember. There's that, um, at the end of March, they're doing the um, that New York claiming series again where that start allowance race. I wonder, I know there's the stud muffin that's a run at a mile through eight. I wonder if this condition today fits up for this kind of horse, because I think he wants to go mile three eight. so if he gets claimed out of this one today, um, if the condition's right, uh, which I can't think of off the top of my head, I wonder if you'll see this horse, or a lot of these horses running that stud muffin at the end of next month, <laughs> or this month now, uh, but most recently, this uh, side mech change, ran a mile three sixteenth on the slop here on the 10th of December, we finished seven by twelve lengths that day, and he was just wide, never getting the trip that day. Prior to that, going a mile in the eighth, an optional eighty, finished fourth by six lengths off the bench. He probably needed the race, but he got around the race course well. And then at Monmouth, over the mile 70 and ops 25, he won by a length that day. He was a little bit wide, but he, he he closed up well late. A race that was really disappointing was 28th of May at Belmont, going a mile in the 8th. He, he didn't finish the race that day. He just walked on the line. Something must have went amiss, um, you know, but... Um, Prior to that, his races here in New York weren't bad at all. He won over the mile three sixteen here in late April quite nicely by a nose on the front end. Went over the mile late here last March quite nicely. <coughs> Refreshing here against these quality horses. I think he could win. Let's use him on the ticket. Um, but to recap my selection for the six from Aqueduct, going to go with the 1A horse beyond best. Give kudos to the three horse McAllen and the uh, five horse side McChange. Um, 1A35 2 Super. 1A35 in the multi race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get 5. Good luck everyone.